Hey guys, CreepRV here, and welcome back to another video. Today I will be starting off a new series called Need for Speed Most Wanted, the 2012 version. Unfortunately, I don't have 2005 because I don't know, I lost my old PC. But if I did have it, I will use it. But instead, we're going to be using 2012 as the backup. And yes, unfortunately, my old playthrough of this has been cancelled because it just ran so bad. Okay, enough of explaining. Let's start. So what we are going to do is we are going to review as much cars as we can starting from point A to point C. I may upload episodes every month or something. So let's get started. Our car for today is the Alpha. Romeo What is it? 4C or 3C? I think it's the 4C concept Yeah, it's a 4C concept So this car is actually The number 10 most wanted On the blacklist Oh god, the blacklist For Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 And Well, I can't say anything much about this car I mean Maybe I would see that it's handling is a little bit too much. Okay, so you can just watch me failing over and over again with this car in the background video. As you can see, I'm failing over and over again. I may, I may, um, I may protest about the fact that it has too much steering power. It's it, it's oh, it oversteers. That's what I mean. And. Hmm, Nothing else is pretty good, I must say. Um, it's pretty small, which is good. You want the, those kinds of cars, unless you're the one who likes to take cops out of their um car. So yeah, it is decently fast, decently because I would say that because there are thousands of faster cars in the game other than the Alfa Romeo 4C concept. So. I don't really like the design of it or maybe just the front that much. I mean that Dorito triangle just makes me look feel kind of weird and uh, I don't really like the other colors except for the white and red one. I don't like the other one so yeah you can see in the background I have the red paint job on it and yeah the back looks pretty good. I like those headlights. They seem pretty cool. Um, So let me explain how I got this car again. So it's number 10 on the most wanted list. And I suggest the best car that you can find without any DLCs at the start of this game without beating anybody is the, what was it? The Marasha B2 or I forgot, I think it's B2. That was my favorite car up until I got the freaking McLaren F1. But other than that, I suggest using the Marasha or anything else fast that can take heavy hits against this car. Because, oh my gosh, you will believe how much times I actually bumped this dude into the freaking cops and it got took down. It was so much. So, well, I can't say anything much about this car. It's, well, all I could say it's pretty easy to beat. Um... It's a decently fast and it's a decently fast car. I um it cannot take that good of hits and he can it can't take any any from SUVs. Uh, excuse me guys, but it can take down cops and as you can see it can jump pretty high if you have burn nitrous pro. I usually prefer that other than um power shot nitrous pro because. Burn Nitrous is you're the one who actually controls it, not like power shot, it just goes <laughs> once you launch it. So, yeah, that's all for today. Please remember to leave a like on the video, subscribe for more amazing content on this channel, and I'll see you again in our video, guys. Good. Bye. Oh no.